Probably this is going to be my first negative video about Diablo 4, but I think it's about time. Um, the trading has been shut down because there is some kind of a bug, uh, exploit people are massively exploiting. I never heard of that bug, I never exploited it, so I have no idea what that bug is. But apparently it's very impactful because it shut down the entire trading system. The problem is that Diablo 4 doesn't have one. It was dead on arrival. It was completely dead, it is still dead. You cannot trade in Diablo 4. People go to certain third-party Discord servers where they do the trading, the bidding, stuff like this, and then they go to Diablo 4 and just press the button. So we agree to a price, agree to the exchange, to the barter, the weapon, whatever, then we go to the game, you trade, and we are good to go. This is how you trade in Diablo 4. So there isn't any working trading system. We have one thing though. We have this trading channel, which is dead. You see? This channel is completely dead. And why it is dead? Because nobody knows it even exists. If we go here to options, go to social, you can see that this channel is right there, the option for it. However, by default, by default it is disabled. So probably 85% of people who are playing Diablo 4, who are not try hard, uh, try hard, so let's say die hard fans, or just playing for fun, stuff like this, they don't even know that this thing is disabled to default. By default, they don't. So we have to enable it. Uh, in order to make sure that uh, you see the chat. And even if you do that, nobody uses that chat. It is completely dead. I have been uh, having this option enabled until from actually the beginning of the game. When the game launched, I seen people using it two or three times. Tops. That's it. So, uh, we don't have trading system working in Diablo 4. They shut it down for some certain exploit. I have no idea why. What is that exploit? Is it so impactful? Nobody knows. Another thing though, uh, probably you've noticed that uh, there are certain types of gear that uh, if you enchant it, there was very, very high chance to roll specific attributes. For instance, rings would most certainly roll critical strike chance. Uh, armor will, will most certainly roll uh, thorns. However, they remove that silently. So if I press and enchant this right now, I'm not going to get critical strike chance. If I do it again, I'm not going to get critical strike chance. If I do it again, I'm not going to get critical strike chance. So currently, it is even worse. It is even harder to get the best equipment because in the in the in the past you're going to say, you know what, this piece has two very good uh, rolls, one decent and one bad, uh, and it doesn't have critical strike chance, which is good because I'm going to reroll the bad one, and um, it will give me critical strike chance. Not only that, but because critical strike chance roll is so so common, so often. I will spend some gold in order to make sure that I have max roll of critical strike chance. Now you cannot do that because you see, I just rolled three times. I didn't get a single critical strike chance. So in a way, uh, now it is more difficult to get the perfect item, which makes trading even more important. However, you cannot trade in this goddamn game. You just can't. Again, the only way you can trade is this chat, which is dead. There you go. A person actually responded, right? So, uh, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, and you know what's actually bugging me so much about all this situation? Is the fact that uh, instead of shutting down an entire system for certain exploit, they could easily make sure that in this patch note they gave us something good when it comes to an actually working trading system. Diablo Immortal has a trading system that is actually better than Diablo 4 because Diablo 4 doesn't even have one. <laughs> it's, it's totally driving me crazy. Another thing. Currently, with the previous patch and all the patches before that, all Blizzard were doing, and trust me, this Blizzard is not Blizzard North, it is a completely different company, nothing to do with the company that developed uh, Brood War, you know, Diablo 2, Blizzard North, it doesn't exist anymore, which is unfortunate. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is that they're trying to push players into one direction only, this direction is do Nightmare Dungeons, Nightmare Dungeons, Nightmare Dungeons. The problem with that is that Nightmare Dungeons suck. Their design suck. They're not appealing. They work. They actually look bad. And another thing, I'm sorry to say that, but Diablo Immortal have better dungeons than Diablo 4. And I'm, I'm not kidding. I played Diablo Immortal for almost a an year, and I stopped playing it right around the time when Diablo 4 was launched. Diablo Immortal had 10 or 12 dungeons, I forgot the number, but every single one of those dungeons is unique. Especially the latest one that they released on a ship, it was an incredibly well-designed dungeon. You will memorize it. Can you tell me a single good-looking dungeon that you're going to memorize? You, know, you know what, I, I remember playing that dungeon in Diablo 4, it was awesome. There isn't one. They say, they claim, that Diablo 4 has 180 dungeons. Bullshit. It has... 
15 templates, and everything else is reskin of those templates, copy-paste specific parts. There is a, a forest, there is a, a prison, there is a city, a ruins of the city. What else do we have? Um, there is some kind of a frozen tunnel, stuff like this. There is a tunnels with spiders, and more or less that's it. Seven, uh, five or six more, but you get the idea, right? So they get 30% of one with 40% of the other, they mix it and they say that's a new dungeon. It isn't. And even if we agree that there are 180 dungeons, none of them is particularly good looking. I cannot memorize even one. In Diablo Immortal, I can tell you at least five that were pretty nice looking. Uh, I cannot say the same for Diablo 4. And Blizzard are pushing us to do only those Nightmare Dungeons, nothing else. For instance, everything that they designed here, this huge open world doesn't matter. Keltides doesn't matter. I have no idea why they destroyed the only really great thing in the game, Helltides. Right now, there is no need to do Helltides. Of course, if you're a completely casual player that plays 30 minutes a day, you can log in and do Helltides, that's fine. However, if you decide to play more, there is no reason to do Helltides. Forgotten Souls you can get without any issues by just doing those ridiculous Nightmare Dungeons. And you know what they say? 180 Nightmare Dungeons that are copy-paste templates, whatever. It doesn't matter. Why do they restrict the Nightmare Dungeons to be only about 15 of them or 20 of them? I'm sick of all Nightmare Dungeons that I have to do now over and over and over and over again. I don't know, guys. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what and why they're doing this to the game. The game was pretty decent before this adjusting thing that happened right before Season 1. And when Season 1 came, uh, it doesn't really feel like a season because there is only one thing that's cool and that's the Barber. The Barber is super OP. And the whole thing with the Malignant Hearts it feels like Legendary Gems from Diablo Immortal. And that's it. That's the entire change. It doesn't feel like a real season. Uh, probably mo most of you have noticed it. I'm sorry to be negative in this video. I usually, I, I don't want to be negative about games that I'm playing. I still enjoy playing the game, but I'm so mad about all these things that's happening because they had a decently good product and they just ruined it. They did that. They did that. They had Helltides that was super good. They ruined it. They had non-existent trading system, they made it even worse now because there's some kind of an exploit. Anyways, guys, this is going to be all for me today. Uh, very, very soon I'm going to release a video about the companions and whether and if they're good after the recent buffs. Until then, see you next time. Take care. Perfect.